What? 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 Janine says it's an incredible find. Look, Janine, it's your big bird costume you've been looking for. Oh. Wow. You can get it. You can definitely get it. Um, so over here at my unique. Are you guys surprised? We've been hitting this place up quite often since they put it out the Halloween. And we're looking for more vintage spooks, wouldn't you say? I would say. Yeah. But I want to show you this. Okay. Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Harry Potter, look at him. For $8. Why $8? Look at this guy, though. This painted ceramic looks like something was here. Looks like something was there but broken off. That's too bad. This is $8. Blue is not on sale today. Yeah, it's sort of cute. Don't tell me you found another scream no, mask. No, isn't that cool? It's a fun mask. It's pretty cool. Is it older? It sort of looks up. It, it reminds me of this. It's got like foam on the inside and stuff, but I can't see anything. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. It's like colored. Look at this, Janine. Oh, another little tin. Oh, it's a cute tin. Isn't it? Oh, little, yeah, look at that. With the bunnies on it. But yeah, this, uh, this mask here. Look at that. Yeah, that's an older one. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a girly. Oh. It's a giant girly, Janine. Oh, no way. Janine, look, it's a girly. It's the biggest thing. What? <gasps> it's so big. He's cute. He's got a little mask. guitar. The mask is interesting. You're not gonna pick it off? That's okay, a. It's got like really like crazy. Like it's just like. Yeah, so like your hands are full. Oh look, they have this um haunted, spooky animatronic uh. Tree. I passed this up last year. I don't know why, but I've definitely seen this before. And look, he's got little owls on top. It's only two dollars. How cute. Guys, I can't believe that girly candle. Like, to find a Halloween girly candle at the thrift is pretty rare. And to find one that big, I've actually never seen it before. Incredible. So that's a really cool find. Incredible. Janine says it's an incredible find. That's a fun try. Oh, is that an inflatable? I saw that last time. No, it's a tiger. It is an inflatable, but it's a tiger. Yeah. Isn't that fun? That's fun. I also found this really cool like computer paper. That's Halloween. Oh, that's fun. This is older too. Made in USA. I actually have another set of Halloween paper at home. Different but similar to this. That one's really fun. Yeah. We just spotted a second screen mask. This looks like newer to me, like the plastic, but I don't know. It also doesn't have like a shroud on the top of it, just yeah, the bottom. Some of them are made like that. Mm. Um, I think it's a kid size too kid size it is easter unlimited made in china yeah it does look it's quite small it's two dollars not every scream mask is worth 50 bucks is it no some are but not everyone what'd you find it's broken oh but this way is displayable mm -hmm. oh wow they don't have their lids no lid vintage tupperware in the classic 70s colorway. <laughs> Guys, look, I think they have like Halloween pot holders. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh no. Those are so cute. Look, Janine. Halloween oh. pot holders. I don't know which yeah, ones of these are vintage. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know which ones of these never been able to find it. Maybe you'll find it one day. I like this one. The little black cats are cute too. And they even have some towels and such over here. Mm -hmm. I think most of these are newer. They're cute. But they are cute. Somebody definitely recently dropped off their Harry Potter collection because we are finding Harry Potter in every single aisle. Like early Harry Potter from like 2001. Very interesting. And Janine's looking through the birthday plates. Cute little baby ones. That was cute. 2006 calendar. 
2006. This one's sealed on top. 2010. 2009. Wow. 2005. Wow. 2003. That was cool. Wow. Secrets. There's a lot of them here. stickers, it says. Oh, there's stickers. Could be a collector's item. Oh, yeah, look at oh, that. Never used. Used. That's pretty cool. We were just talking about our um, houses <laughs> on our whatnot sale. Drop a comment. What Hogwarts house is Janine in? And what Hogwarts house am I in? We had some good guesses on our whatnot sale. Somebody got it right. On the toy aisle, we're even finding some Harry Potter stuff like this. Harry Potter magic puzzles for $5. This is like older Harry Potter stuff too. Oh yeah, look at that. That's sort of cute. Wow, look at that. You got it? Oh. Yeah, sorry. Thanks. Harry Potter Magical Minis. Interesting. Eight dollars. What is that? A, a Nesco. Plaque. It's a wall plaque. Oh, it's so interesting. Let's see. This person was a hardcore Harry Potter collector. Yeah. Here it is. Probably never taken out. Wow. Interesting stuff. It is interesting. There's that, and then Janine also spotted that there was a trivia game down here. Wow. And I just spotted a mystery puzzle. Another puzzle. Wow, look at that. Amazing. They definitely dropped off their entire collection to Unique. That's sort of cool. This is sort of cool, Janine, that, um... Oh, yeah, is it a Jemmy? I don't know if it's a Jemmy. No, 2007. Oh. Magic power. Huh. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll it. This was also in the, um... Bins. He's missing a foot. Aww. But I think he's really cute. Yeah. Janine pointed out that the fabric's really cute. He's missing a hand, too. Yeah, that's fun, though. I love the fabric. We did manage to get some fun th things right off the bins though. Oh my goodness. So fun. What's this, Janine? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to look them up. I know the Target dogs can be, you know, worth something for nice. This is like a... What is that? Um, I don't know what that is. Whatever sports team that is. Some baseball team. Yep. So I thought this was Target at first, but I was like, this is sort of weird for Target. And it's actually a Jemmy. This is a Jemmy animatronic, but I don't know about this hole in his nose. Janine said maybe the sensor fell out. Janine, this is a Jemmy. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it? A little bit of Harry Potter rubbing off on you? No, it is. Um, so I might put him in the car. He is $8. I don't know about that nose, though. Interesting. You have to do a little research. A little bit of searching on the good old eBay. Janine found a giant book of eye illusion magic posters. Eye. Posters. Mag magic eye poster book. Magic eye poster book. That's so cool. It's a giant book. And we got the Jemmy to work. <laughs> so, I don't know. He might be a good pickup. He does have that hole in his nose. I don't know why. He's pretty cool though, isn't he? Look at that. It's fun. How cool is that? I love this, the way that it's... Happy Halloween, yeah. just love the way that looks. It's like very 80s, 90s. It does, like you said, have some scratches. It's too bad, it's so beat up. It's a little beat up for me to pick up today. Okay. It's fun to see it. Fun to see. Look at this. Look at this bag of goodies. We've got the little scarecrow pumpkin pail in there. Mm -hmm. and and sure, thank you. And some fruits and vegetables. <laughs> just your daily dose of vitamin C. And I guess that was really the only thing. <laughs> Maybe this guy? Not as exciting as <laughs> I was hoping for. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Wasn't as uh, exciting. Can't always pull out 1960s, you know, Halloween party hats from the shelves. Look at her. She's a lemon. She's been here. Mask update? Mask update. I think. The other one was definitely a kid size. I think mm -hmm. this is an adult size. Mm -hmm. um, but this pink staining and the blue, it's just too much for me. I have like four masks at home. So I'm gonna put this one back. Um, yeah, 
Mm. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, a Halloween mug with a little friend attached. Oh my gosh, that's Month amazing. 1992. 1992. That's a great find. Look at him. That is very me. Three ghosts mm -hmm. on a pumpkin. I love that, but look at him. He's cute. Is his eye broken? No, it's just like that. 99 cents. That's cute. Decorative oh leaf bag. It's like a tombstone. Yeah. That's cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. What, what, what? Oh, no way. She's a little chipped up, but she's only $5. Okay, I want to look because you're going to find everything, Janine. Look at this little guy. Oh, how cute is he? Is that a Bats? Bats? And another nutcracker? Well, that's fun. What are you doing? You filling the pills? <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Did you get those bones? Yeah, there's one right there. Because I was gonna say, there's one right here. Look at that packaging. I love the packaging. That's what it's all about. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this one. How funny. She's a little dirty. But maybe I can clean her up. Oh, she's so And cute. then I also found this little pumpkin bear. How cute. Adorable. Huh. Oh my goodness, more Halloween plush. I love it. It's so cute. 1992 on this one. It's a little thread on him, but he's really cute. You painted. Jean found a blank um, ceramic. A little chip right there, but that's yeah. really cool. 299. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. There's even. Oh boy, guys. SUNY Candle Division. Buffalo, New York. That's where girlies out of. And this looks like a girly. Sunny or SUNY Candle Division. Interesting. Maybe this was a maker after girly, but like the same company. That is really interesting to me. Okay, I found a few more exciting things. I found this vintage Donald Duck hat. Youth sized. It's definitely from like the 80s or something for $4. So that's cool. I'll look into that. And then found some vintage, definitely from like the 80s or something, like dead stock witches. I found two of the witches. And then I found a cat and a pumpkin. So cute. And then really, really cute. I found, if I can pull it out carefully, the little ghost and the pumpkin. They are so one. cute. I might have to get them all. Adorable. It's really cool because these are definitely, you could tell they're like from the 90s. At the, um, you know, youngest, I guess. Is that how you'd say? Youngest? At the uh, newest? Really? Earliest? Anyway, yeah, so that is interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, where'd you find? Oh. Dinosaur book. <laughs> Looks like a good read. She's got Santa's surprise book, a dinosaur book, lots of good little golden books. Tom and um, Jerry's Christmas. Tom and Jerry's Christmas, but Janine. Yeah, Mr. Donald? Oh. Do you, did you, I didn't put this in the cart. Janine, Janine. Janine. I didn't put this in the cart, guys. It's five dollars. Um, yeah, I did not put this in the cart. I I don't. She definitely looks a little guilty there. Interesting, but wait. Oh, oh I no. Oh no. Ouch. Breathe through it. I'm okay. Oh my god, you're so much better than me. I'd be on the floor. Oh no, it was painful. Oh my gosh. Disassociated for a minute. Mm. Look at this sloppy world. Oh. You also really have another find yeah. in your hand. I just pulled this one out. It's a Christopher Pike Spooksville. Cool. The ghost hated living kids. 
<laughs> so funny. strong word there. Um, very cool. It looks like brand new. 1995. Good condition there. Yeah, 1995. Nice find, Janine. Thank you. Guys, we we've been going to the thrift store and we've been finding Halloween, and it's our favorite time of year. We're super excited to show you what we got in today's video. We scored some quite amazing things and we're gonna take you through it. But before we do that, we do wanna mention that we are having our big, I think maybe last Halloween sale of the season on whatnot next Friday, September 15th. So a lot of what we've been finding in our most recent videos will be available during next sale and it's going to be a big sale yes huge it's actually. gonna be long it's gonna be a lot <laughs> but we're really excited because we have some amazing things to pass along you know as collectors we're going to be keeping some and a good amount of what we find but a lot of it that we pick up is to pass along to fellow collectors like yourself so we hope to see you guys there there's a link in our description of this video to sign up and save 15 dollars off your first purchase on whatnot when you sign up using that link um, but enough chat about that because we have a lot to go through so here is the haul in its entirety, we picked up a lot of fun things today and we're gonna show you guys some of the highlights. I think my best find from today was this amazing girly pumpkin candle. Incredible. I could not believe when I saw this. I recognized the face right away um, because I've seen and have a similar girly candle with a similar face, but not one this big. Yeah, so it's much I, smaller. <laughs> much smaller. And I took it, I flipped it over and Lo and behold, there was an actual girly sticker on the bottom, which I was so happy to see. A lot of times they fall off, mm -hmm. so it was nice to see that that still had it. Yep, there was confirmation that this is truly a girly. You could tell in date girlies by the bottom uh, markers, typically. This one looks a little newer, and by newer, I mean maybe early 70s by that logo. Some of the older candles, the smaller ones, um, they just look different, so you could typically tell by that only four dollars what a steal possibly have to keep it for the collection because it's just such a cool piece um and i could not believe that it was up at the store is it heavy i didn't pick it it's up quite seven. it's it's a big boy yeah. yeah he's pretty um hefty and what's nice is that he was never melted um he's a little dirty mm -hmm. in his nose but i will take um you know a cotton swab to it a really good tip is if you need to buff away dirt on wax candles like girly candles like in here what you can do is take a pantyhose, wrap it around your finger, um, and just sort of buff it off. The pantyhose is really soft, so it won't scratch it or indent it, but it'll sort of pick up any dirt or debris on the surface. So that's what I'm gonna do with this guy. I think he's gonna stick around at least for a few years. He's so cool, and I could not believe he was at the thrift store. Another candle find was this jack-o'-lantern. You know, I'm sort of stumped with him because he does have a mark on the bottom, it's out of Buffalo, New York, where girly candles were manufactured, but it says like Sunny Candle Division. So I'm not sure if this is like a newer candle from the 80s. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on the manufacturer here. But even if it does end up being a newer candle, I thought he had a great face. He's definitely not any newer than what, from the 90s, early 2000s, if that. My favorite find from today was a ceramic witch. I think she is absolutely the coolest thing. She is ceramic. I believe she was paint your own. Um, I recently learned this is a Byron's mold. So I haven't looked her up on eBay or anything. So I, I will do that. I'll put any screenshots right here if I find any sold comps. As I really don't know how much she's worth. Um, I think I'm going to have to keep her in the collection because I think she's so cool. I think her paint job is incredible. Um, minus some of the chipping. She does have a little chip there and chip there. But I will touch that paint up and, you know, there's no major cracks or anything or like her, the top of her hat isn't broken off, which is actually really, really fantastic. So a lot of times you do find a lot of these ceramic pieces with big breakages and chips that are harder to either fix or maybe you wouldn't even find the tip of her hat. Yeah, happens. I love the way she's painted. She's a little dusty, I have to clean her off. Just think there's a lot of attention to detail with the mushrooms and even this book has like some writings or something that look like they were in the mold. Like, you know, that's just like a really amazing attention to detail with the mold and the paint job. I think she's really cool. I'll have to get a light cord for her. I don't have a light mm. cord. Um, 
she does have on the back here an area to place one so i will be lighting her up sometime soon because we're in september and i might as well just keep her out yeah and decorate with her i love the pumpkin's face and i cannot believe it was five dollars that's like a really good price for a piece yeah. like that at our thrift stores so fun score she even has gold teeth they painted like two gold teeth isn't that cool janine and i found i guess five vintage these are definitely from I, i'd say at the newest the early 2000s but we found these ceramic wall plaques and I couldn't believe it. They are so vintage and nostalgic and I love that they weren't painted. These would be so fun to paint right now. We've got these little ghosts, one in the pumpkin, one coming out of the pumpkin. We found three of these witches. This one does have the little broken foot right there, but we found two more that are in pretty good condition. And then we found this little cat coming out of a jack-o'-lantern. I couldn't believe this. <laughs> it's not very often you come across new old stock, paint your own ceramics like this. Um, so I'm really excited. I don't know if we're gonna keep any to paint ourselves. Um, I may wanna pass along a few. I know our good friend House of Wicker over on Instagram recently um, passed along some large Christmas ceramics you know, that are of the paint your own style. Um, and I think these might be fun to pass along too. I might have to keep one, I'm not <laughs> sure, um, but they're really cool. If we do sell any, they will be available next Friday. Um, and I just thought this was such a cool find. The mug glows in the dark. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow, their faces glow in the dark. That is so cool. We just, well, Janine just discovered this. You know what else glows in the dark, Laura? What? The new No Pumpkin Left Behind pin for 2023. It glows in the dark as well. Wow. Yep. Wait, where, where'd you get that? I got that at shinybrightdoggo.com. You can get that and t-shirts and uh, stickers as well. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Wow, I didn't realize at the thrift store that the tag said it glows in the dark. So that is so cool. Even the tag sort of glows, that's fun. Um, I do think it has a year on it. I love that. Yeah, 1992 on the mug and 1993 on this tag. Oh my goodness. It was never used. Does it say if it's good for uh, like food or drink consumption? I'm sure you can drink out of it. You think so? I'm always afraid, but this is definitely one that I'd want to keep in the collection. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think, Janine? Oh yeah, I love that. We love vintage Halloween mugs. That's... Oh, it's That's the worst. a collection in itself. We should actually show that collection. We, we have should. some really cool mugs that we found over the years from the thrift stores and from estate sales. We've really found some really unique mugs. And um, it's one of my favorite Halloween things from the 90s and 80s to collect. Yeah, you know, we should decorate with just those mugs this year. Laura. That'd be like, fun. Just put them up out like for decoration. I think that would be really cool. We'll definitely make um, an Instagram post of them, if anything. Yeah, Cause I, we do have a lot and we use yeah. them too. So yeah, we have a lot. And um, it's something that like, since we put it away in the cabinet, I've never seen them all out together. And I think that would be really like, yeah, cool. I'm excited to see. So uh, <laughs> head on over to our Instagram if you guys want to see that. Um, we'll probably make a post sometime soon. If you guys went to our last whatnot Halloween sale, we did pick a plush. We did a bunch of plush that we sold and it seems like you guys loved it. So we've been on the lookout for more for ourselves and our own collection, but also to pass along for our next Halloween sale. So I think Halloween Pick a Plush is going to make a reappearance next Friday. Um, Janine, did you get this guy or did I? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this witch. I love the tooth. Like, what is oh that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is Mar. It has a tag, but it doesn't have a date. This is probably from the early 90s. I think I like this witch more than the last witch that was in our last video. With the cauldron? Yeah, that one has a lot of details, but this one's more goofy and cute to me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's it's these, I think we might have to hold on to this. <laughs> I love it. But we do have a lot of plush here. It's just so fun to be finding it. I also found this little pumpkin who also has that parachute type material. She's sort of dirty, but I couldn't leave her behind. She's just so like 80s and 90s looking. I just looked at her tag and she is made in Korea. So I'm thinking 80s on this one. Janine agrees. Um, I just think they look really cute together too. I'm a sucker for these tiny Halloween tins. This one's like a little tin bucket and it has jack-o'-lanterns. And then on the top, it has a ghost. So this is from 1983. Wow, really? Yes. I would have never tin guessed. Is 
this is going to be its 40th Halloween. Wow, that that's wild, yeah. I love that. I love that it had a year. I love, again, I love the little tins. The first one I saw was this, and this reminded me of my mom when I was younger. She loves little cutesy, like, animals, you know, woodland, the animals. woodland animals. Reminds me of a lot of the stickers I had growing up um, uh, around Halloween and stuff. So I thought this scene was so cute. They are made in Taiwan, I believe. No, Hong Kong. There might even be a marker on the bottom. Um, yeah, it says Keller, Keller something. Yeah. But it says made in Hong Kong. Look at the handle, the detail on the handle too. It's so good. It's so cute. Absolutely love it. And then the second one. This one is really fun. The second one goes for a little more spooky of a scene. We have a haunted house so cool again has that detail on the handle and i don't know i just love these tins i have like two in the collection that i use to display things like give a little bit of height uh because i love the way the sides look but this one's different in the fact that i love the way the top looks so i might have to display it on a shelf like that this year so cool i'm a sucker for these like plastic door coverings and garage door coverings but this is Huge. This is huge and maybe it could be a backdrop for us. Seven and a half feet by five feet. We Laura. do not have a garage door, so but we do have a giant wall. We do have a few walls. Billboard size. Wow, this was six dollars originally. Wow. Love those ghosts. I am like a 90s ghost girly. I think they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then Janine found this door covering, which is really cute. He looks like a classic like Hallmark ghost, doesn't he? There's a year. Oh, I I really I know yeah it's 1990, 1990 Hallmark so I know my ghosties know, you, you know your Hallmark ghosts <laughs> decorative computer paper I actually have another set similar Halloween mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do with this but I love it it's really cool it's cool ephemera um, and then we also picked up a good amount of these like garlands and mm -hmm. such mainly for the packaging love the packaging it's so good these i guess were from cvs originally mm -hmm. these are just fun to like hang up and display like sealed and not actually like use the garland um so we couldn't resist the packaging on these and the little ghosts the little ghosties and we have the garland of this witch and the ghosts these are really fun Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget, we're going to have a sale next Friday over on Whatnot. Lots of Halloween. It's going to be so much fun. Even if you don't buy anything, we love when people just stop by and say hi and just hang out with us on Whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. Um, and did want to mention, we still have some No Pumpkin Left Behind merch left at shinybrightdoggo.com, but sizes are selling out. So make sure you grab that soon for your pumpkin finding thrifting festivities. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you next time. Bye. Bye.